Hello, 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 sellers. Come on in, come on in. It's Kathy, and I love to be selling. I can't wait to share this with you because this is a great tip for retail arbitrage. And I'm going to explain what that is in case you're not aware of it that a lot of sellers completely overlook. And it is a huge moneymaker. I talk about this with my private clients. I talk about this with my members. Um, and again, thrifting is great. Consignment stores are great. Selling things from your own closet is great. I mean, there, there's so many great ways, you know, to source estate sales are great. But with all of that, don't overlook retail arbitrage. And what that is, if you're not aware of the term, is you go into a store and you can do this, by the way, and I'm going to show you how to do it online with a physical store or, and this is the thing that's so cool, you can do it online. So what it is very much like going into a thrift store or going into a consignment store, right? Or going to an estate sale is you go to a physical store or an online store and you buy something that's on sale clearance or it could be their regular price just to let you know because that's happened to me a couple of times and you find you can flip it okay it's retail arbitrage you can flip it on ebay and make yourself some money and i bring it up right now and i'm going to date this this is october 2023 because halloween is coming tomorrow and you might think oh halloween's tomorrow so when you're out and about shopping um, and I'm bringing up retail, you overlook Halloween because it's going to be tomorrow. So it's like, you know what? It's, it's here tomorrow. So you're thinking, which is a good thing to be thinking. You're thinking Thanksgiving, you're thinking Christmas, you're thinking New Year's, but you may not be thinking Halloween. And I want to point this out for retail arbitrage. So here in New York, Halloween tends to go on sale about three weeks ago. And what you're looking for is really good sales. What I have found is like, 20 or 30% off, unless you just find that, wow, this thing really flips on eBay. And how do you find that out? You're walking around with your phone and you're checking solds. Is I really look for a sale that's at least half off and preferably 70, 80% off. And that's going to happen right before the holiday. So this would be right before Halloween, right before Christmas, right before Easter, okay, right before Valentine's Day. You're looking for things being really dramatically reduced. So then you're going, well, then why am I buying Halloween items if it's going to be like tomorrow? Like how on or am I going to have to hold this for a year? And the thing about Halloween, just like what is going on with Christmas, and by the way, same thing for Easter, is it sells year round. Now, a thing about the costumes, which again, you can get costumes in many different ways. I'm bringing up retail arbitrage, but certainly you can get costumes at thrift stores and consignment stores too, is kids like to dress up year round. So yes, right now it's a Halloween costume, but after Halloween or way before Halloween, it's a dress up costume. I don't know about you, but in our house, we always had like, it was a big chest and it was full of costumes and clothing and things that we could put on when we wanted to play dress up. And we wanted to have costume parties with our friends. Well, things haven't changed. Kids like to dress up year round. I remember my grandson went through a phase where he would wear his Batman costume year round because it had a cape on the back and he loved the cape, right? So don't forget that is Halloween costumes for kids and grownups sell year round because kids love to dress up. Don't forget the Jewish holiday of Purim they will be dressing up. Now, typically with Purim, they're going to be dressing up um, biblically themed characters. So it'll be like Esther, but it depends how um, the family observes Purim is I was searching it on the internet and kids were dressing up for Purim, dressed up as Annie, dressed up as cowboys. So it's really become a, a Halloween kind of thing where there's all kinds of different costumes. And the other thing with costumes for adult costumes is people have dress up parties themed parties year round. So look at the costume, right? Is it like a Roman emperor, right? Or a god or a goddess? Um, when Academy Awards roll around, oftentimes people will dress up um, in costumes uh, for, for Academy Award parties, but grown-ups like to dress up too. So keep an eye out for costumes for that. Um, Purim, 
that comes up. And also Christmas holidays is that you have kids pageants and you have grown up Christmas holiday pageants. And again, you're looking for biblically themed costumes or costumes that could be Old Testament, New Testament. So like the robes, that kind of thing you're looking for because people will be doing the wise men. They'll be doing Mary and Joseph with baby Jesus, but you'll have a lot of biblically themed things around the Christmas holidays. So keep an eye out for that. If you can find a good deal on things that would be good for biblical costumes, that does really, really well. So keep an eye on the costumes when they really get slashed because it can really be a great way to source, again, retail arbitrage. And really you're looking for sales, at least in my experience, of at least 50% off. And again, kids' costumes, grown-up costumes, and then list them on eBay. And while you're outsourcing your Halloween clearance sales is keep an eye out also for Halloween decor. Now, this year, there's been a huge Barbie theme, right? And I have seen pink spiders and pink cobwebs and pink ghosts and a lot of pink is people will then take Halloween and not just pink, but all the colors. And oftentimes they'll include it for a sort of a full seasonal look for their home and for their yard. So things keep an eye out for is things like the scarecrows uh, for the outdoor home decor. Indoors, as far as the lights, all different kinds of lights, people decorate in a lot of different styles for their holiday tree, their Christmas tree. So keep an eye out for that is that people will, will be using Halloween themed or things that are sold as Halloween decor, they'll be using for Christmas decorations. Um, and again, keep an eye out for all this cool pink stuff that's come up this year um, because I'm already seeing a lot of pink Christmas trees. So some of that pink Halloween decor or fall decor or harvest decor might work for Christmas. And then the other thing is um, for weddings, there are people that do use Halloween themed home decor, outdoors decor for the theme for their wedding. So it's more of a, like a goth wedding, um, you know, that kind of vibe. So keep an eye out for that kind of thing with really, really cute um, harvest lights, Halloween lights that can be used. People do Halloween themed weddings, which is really, really interesting. And that kind of thing you can find on Pinterest. Pinterest can be a great source for that thing. So keep an eye out when you see things that are really, really cute and you think could be repurposed for other seasons, other things, other parties. Think about graduation parties. People do all kinds of themes for graduation parties. Is keep an eye out for really good outdoor decor, which is lights, the figurines, um, things that people are putting in their trees, they're putting along the walk, the lights for outdoors, the lights for the trees. Is can that be reused for things like patio lights, right? You got to remember all of the United States and all of the world. Like uh, for those of us in the North, it might be a little, little chilly, but don't forget uh, people love to have all kinds of different wonderful lights on their decks and their lanai's in the South and in the Southwest. So really look at the holiday decor from fall and Halloween. Keep an eye on your Halloween costumes for children as well as grown-ups, And you're looking for clearance of at least 50% off. And depending on your thrift stores, a lot of them can get donations from large stores because they don't want to hold the Halloween inventory. And you'll get some super great deals there that you can then use and resell on eBay. So you're looking for costumes, you're looking for outdoor decor and indoor decor because it can be repurposed for holiday pageants at the Christmas holiday season uh, for kids uh, dressing up for Purim, uh, for Halloween themed weddings or people that enjoy Halloween themed outdoor decor year round. But it's a great, great source um, in retail arbitrage and all kinds of stores too. So besides stores like a Walmart or a Macy's, don't forget your hardware stores like Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, tractor Supply uh, is they carry a wider and wider range, particularly on the outdoor home decor. You'll find a really wide range. And again, people may not go to that store to source that kind of item. Um, and that's why you can get the great deal because they might be used to going to another store. Okay. 
So we're coming up on the holiday. So we're coming out of Halloween, great source for retail arbitrage, great source for wonderful inventory that we can sell year round on eBay because those theme products may not be in the person's local store and they want that look for November, for December, for the spring, for the summer. So you can grab great deals. And as we go into the holiday season, so as we go into Thanksgiving and as we're approaching Christmas, there are things to really keep in mind to maximize your profits, right? We always wanna be watching our margins, how much we're making and to maximize our sales selling online. And I work with a lot of sellers um, in my membership group, in my groups with private clients. And I have a ton of retail experience. If you don't know, I worked in retail for over 15 years and I was on QVC for six years selling. And so what I've done is I'm compiling a month of special holiday selling tips called November Nuggets. And it is on my website. I love to be selling and this is free. This is my gift to you the seller community, and I've just put this together. I have never offered this before. It's called November Nuggets. And you're gonna wanna hop over to my website, I love to be selling.com and sign up. It'll be once a week, every Friday, November Nuggets are gonna come out and it's gonna cover a range of topics to keep in mind, beginner through advanced tips, because for some people, this is their first holiday selling season. And if it is, welcome, welcome to eBay. And others of us more experienced, you know, we've done holiday selling before, but this holiday selling season, again, like every holiday, has its unique variables that are very, very important to keep in mind in order to make the most sales and for you to make the most money. I'm going to keep talking about margins because that's so important. Okay. So hop over to my website, sign up for November Nuggets. It's going to be every Friday for the month of November, completely free holiday seasonal selling tips just for you. So sign up, sign up. You will love them. And I'm Kathy and I love to be selling. Bye-bye everybody.